Hello, my name is Timothy, and I build sand castles! Good morning, it's 5.56, and I'm the chief engineer, Timothy. And the objective is to raise a sand castle that will survive for thousands of years, because such things have been done before. And in reality, we're just pissing on the walls of ancestral achievement. Today's objective is to raise a bouquet of flowers as high as possible so that even you can see it from your house. To do this, we'll drive the maximum amount of mass into a cone, demonstrating our understanding of applied mathematics. Nautical twilight. That's some alien crop circle shit again, Mark. So uh, when I first met Mark, it was on this beach. He was living right over there. And I was digging with a man named Quincy. I was one of the first collaborators ever. And Quincy knew Mark, and he introduced Mark one day. And, you know, I, I said, hi, my name's Timothy. What's your name? He's like, Jersey OG. I'm like, oh, God. And, but he asked, you know, can I help? Can I help dig? And, you know, I've never refused anyone to dig at this site because everybody who does so is an absolute hero. But Mark, um, you know, he'd been recently let out of prison. He's still wearing his jail-issued civilian clothes. And he started digging. And from someone that we knew around the sandcastle, he got a job and got him off the street. He started doing very well for himself. And he became uh, the incredibly healthy man that he is today. That's all truth. Believe it or not, my life was in turmoil at that about a year ago or so. Uh, really, really bad. The worst ever in 50 plus years. And uh, I, was, I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. I had nowhere to turn to. And uh, somehow stumbled upon this guy and, uh, and a shovel here. And it's a year later and amazing things have happened. Employment and living conditions and things and food and um, rebuilding of uh, relationships with family and uh, it, it all came from this, my commitment to this. I, I believe that. And I'm not going to go into a whole big God thing because it's not. It's about, it's about this. About doing something for fun and for free for somebody else. That's it. It's approaching the time of day when all of the regular visitors to the beach will start passing by. And there are dozens of people we know. And what we've realized is that's just the tip of the iceberg of the people who come here or see this every day. I mean, those people, they have the good seats, right? Um, and so I'm very conscious that we must always leave something that's finished and appealing. Um, and we, we get positive feedback so we know that the amount of supporters is larger than that. Um, and it's just, it's meant to be something for the community, you know? I'm very conscious of setting an example, and I know from becoming best friends with Mark that the way you build trust is to show up day after day and present the same face in every changing situation. Hi, girls. I had a big hand in what my life was, and, uh, no, it's on a different track now. My thinking is a little bit different. I've been humbled. I've been actually humiliated into a state of humbleness. Even though we're so different, we really understand each other. And it's all through the action of creating something. And I guess, you know, the best emotion to have is just, I want this to be so much more, uh, you know, of what it already is. And, you know, if it works so well for me and Mark, and believe me, we have a lot of fun every single day. Maybe it's from the teeny bottom. There's crabs in there. Cha! Cha! Punch! Like, I can dig here five hours a day to the limits of my ability, you know, at an increasing level of performance, while still holding down a job and supporting a wife and three children. And in fact, I couldn't imagine doing it any other way. 
So that's an interesting hypothesis, but until I've done it every day for however long, you know, how would you know if it's really sustainable? Well, I've been doing it for a few years now, so you still might argue that I could blow a gasket at any moment. It's time to bathe the log. It's time to go to the castle. And I dig and I spend some hours here until it hurts and then I leave. And I recover and then 100 and 200 other people enjoy it all day, you know. We get to hear about it the next day and it's just been an awesome experience, you know, to give, just to give. You're going to get back what you give no matter what you give. So it might as well be a sandcastle or something nice like that so you can hopefully get something nice back. Um, I've received otherwise when I gave otherwise. I don't know, that's it. I'm gonna dig a little bit. Good morning, honey, how are you? What that woman mo? She been doing me. Can't you see? Whoa, can't you see? What? Let me to the bagel shop. crazy than I used to be.